Oh, it, it comes pretty naturally. Like in Brisbane, I was determined that I was gonna just take it easy this tour and like be a bit nicer to myself, and I just had a shit time. So <laughs> yeah. I um. As soon as I had a shit time, I was just like, all right, it's actually, it's time to party and do this properly. Yeah, this is literally, this is the second last day, but it's the last day with Steph Panther. Today, the very last day. I'm gonna miss those guys. I've never met a band that can function as well on Jägermeister ever in my life. Like, they, um... They can drink like a whole cup of Jaeger and be fine, but the second you give them like a sniff of vodka or a beer or something, they just pass out or really? spew or something. It's fucking hilarious. And like, I think as it's gone on, the shit we're doing is getting stupider and stupider. Like last night in Perth, just, I don't know. The show was like there at the start, but by the end we were just like partying with everyone and being drunk. Yeah. Um, and hanging from the roof. Oh no, it's heaps of other crap, but I can't really talk about it. <laughs> some been some sketchy events, some really sketchy events. It, it, it's amazing it only took me one day to decide that it was going to become the hardest part of the tour we've ever done. Yeah, we're both feeling pretty stretched out. Like, even this week, instead of going home and getting two days rest, I stayed in Melbourne and got drunk, and that's where the idea for this tattoo came up from. And I don't know. Mrs. Jackson, what are you saving on this week? Spreading your budget further with stalk margarine at 79 cents. With savings like that from your independent tucker bag, no wonder everybody's saying... Hello, tucker. Hello, tucker bag savings. Yeah, 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 to make Yacht Club original music. We're um, putting together an EP at the moment of original tracks. And um, it's sort of like, it's something we've always been a bit weird on doing, like, because we're known for the, the remixes and the mashups sort of stuff, and just party DJ set. Um, it, it's probably been like, it take us a bit longer than it should have to really nail down the sound. But um, we sort of just was like, we're like, well, we're both in bands and we both love making music, so fuck it, let's just write some music and release it and see what happens. Um, it's pretty quirky. It's, well, we both predominantly write music on guitars, so, which is odd as we're both drummers. Um, I think that's where we fell down in the beginning. We were trying to program synths and did all this stuff that we can do. Um, it's just not as natural, so like the, the writing process is really clunky. Um, so then we just put down like some beats we liked and then just started playing guitars over the top and then worked on it editing uh, as we do with our mashups and remixes. So it uh, turned out as this like big guitar based um, quirky dance music thing. I can't really think of anything that it really sounds like that's dance music. It's got maybe a bit of an early Chemical Brothers vibe with, I don't know, a heap of weird indie bands, I guess. Yeah. But that, and um, I don't, I'm into heavy music, so like I'm always going for the distortion pedals and stuff where guys are always going for steel drums and weird effects. I always want to play in bands, like, I think a lot of people don't get that about Yacht Club, is we were bands before we were DJs, like, um, Guy's been drumming for years and I've been playing in punk bands since I was about 13, so. Do you need me to get more around, or? Crazy. Um, yeah, it's fine, I don't know. I've never had to, except on my chest, the tattoos I've got on my chest, someone has to fucking hold me down, but apart from that, I don't really feel them. Yeah. Uh, dude, no, no shit, like, I had like two blokes like holding me down while I was getting this one done. Not really that much to tell, I mean, me, me and my friends were sitting around getting drunk on Tuesday outside a bar on Smith Street, and um, I don't even know how it came up, because I was like, I've been drinking for like 18 hours or something. But um, yeah, the actual Tucker bag idea itself, it's just, I mean, you know how you get the in-jokes with your friends and they don't normally make sense? Well, I can't even tell you what the joke was, but I know we were loving it. So. <laughs>